Mmm, the sky is a little dark now. And today's episode is a little different, so it's kind of sponsored in a way. As you guys can see, I have a little t-shirt with me. Yeah! Can you guys see? So it's the One Punch Man 100 Challenge, which I kind of fail, and the video is here. And also, and also it is today's video, and today's video it's the Vitz Ugly Oblio flavor and also the Bolognese flavor and it's also from a special someone that you know who you are. Thanks for the V Thanks for the me. Thanks for the me and bye. Yes, and what's up peeps? Welcome back to my channel, Jerry here. As you guys can see, I have here with me. Stop repeating myself. It is the Vitz Ugly Oblio and also the Bolognese flavor that you guys cannot find in any supermarket and also convenience store. Weirdly enough, I don't know why. Vitz, why do you do this to us? This one, it is ordered from Shopee and it is... I forgot how much is it again. It's about 6 ringgit something per pack. And it is kind of the... I don't know. From the looks of it, it is fancier from your regular Vitz that you find in any supermarket, supermarket stores. You know what? I'm curious. Let's look at the inside packaging. It is quite... Wait a second. Inside there's only four packs. Wow, I thought the thickness inside should have five. Yeah, nothing fancy. It is also thick. Substantially thick. Let's look at the inside. I'm curious how instant spaghetti looks like. It looks exactly like regular instant noodle. Hmm, I'm expecting spaghetti. Well, it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, they sent me goreng. <laughs> Did they give olive oil? Oh. Oh, it is olive oil. Olive oil and some chili flakes and some... <laughs> A pack that says halal. For some reason, I don't know why. What? How about this? Ah, this. Ooh, chili flakes it looks like. And there's also olive oil, but smaller pack, and also <laughs> a pack that says halal. I'm not even kidding. Why? Weird. Mm. Anyhow, I'm gonna go cook. Ooh. Ooh. White balance. Okay, so here it is. Let me just give you guys a shot. Yeah, and this is how the Aglio Oglio looks like. It's a little bit dark, as you guys can see. Yep. And this is the bolognese, and it looks, you know, it's look, it looks a little small because I make it into a shape like this. It looks a lot, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's how it looks like. I'm gonna push this, push this aside for promotional purposes. Which sponsor me. Okay, I'm gonna try the bolognese first because I cooked the bolognese first, so I guess it's a little bit cool, colder now. Mmm. Bruh. Mmm. The bolognese smell is very strong and it's very dry. Well, it is like as intended, me goreng. It is goreng, so it's not, you know, like the regular spaghetti and then you pour the sauce on top, like in the picture. Mmm, a little note. The method I cook for both of these is the stir fry method. Yep, there is two methods. One is the cooking, I guess it's the regular version, like you cook and then you just pour and then you just put the sauce. And then the stir fry method, like you have to pour and then you have to do the sauce and then you have to put some water and stir fry and all that and it becomes this. I'm gonna say right now, the stir fry method definitely tastes better. Mmm. You know, coming from an instant packet like this, and you can do it like almost within like I would say five minutes, and you get this much of a flavor. Well, the instruction did say that you need to put some meat and and onions and all that. You know me, lazy, and I don't have a lot of meat at home, so I just cook it as the base it is and as instructed, and then I just use the ingredients that it provides. Never add anything else. And mmm, wow, thanks, I think thanks. Well, this one is like I would say. The dry version of bolognese. It's exactly like you get the bolognese sauce and you stir fry it very dry. It becomes like this. Well, of course, the noodle is different. This one is Maggi Goreng noodle and that one is spaghetti noodle. That's besides the point. This one, as a whole, I must say, good. 
It's a little sweet though, but don't mind. Brownies is supposed to be sweet, right? Because tomato sauce is kind of sweet. Moving on. Ugly, ugly. First wave, ah, the garlic smell is very strong. Provided that I didn't put any garlic in this, it's all the packaging ingredients that it provides, and I just stir fry it together and it becomes like this. And first smell, good. Okay, we all know that bolognese is like a saucy sauce. Saucy sauce. Comparatively, right, we all know that bolognese is very gravy heavy noodle that you pour on top and then you like eat it, right? Aglio Oglio is very oily. It's supposed to be oily. And because maybe because I stir fry it and you know the noodle and everything else, it absorbs everything and it becomes it becomes like Maggi Goreng. It's dry. And also the flavor, I'm I'm not I'm not saying that it's it's bad, but then it's not aglio aglio heavy flavor, you get what I mean? It is very infused dry version of aglio aglio, kind of. Hmm. Definitely you can tell that this one is like a mi goreng version of aglio aglio. As intended. Oh, it has a little kick. Spicy kick. Nothing too spicy. You know what? Coming from an instant noodle packet and it's intended to be me goreng of ugly ugly version, I must say it is very successful. It is what it should be. It's like what you imagine it to be. Maggi bro. Maggi goreng version of ugly ugly. Dry, Maggi goreng flavor, olive oil flavor, and some herb, and it becomes this. Yes, it's exactly what I describe it to be. I guess you guys can imagine the taste. Hmm. You know what? You think this happens like this, right? I'm preferring the ugly oglio. The bolognese is I'm 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 not saying that it's bad, but I'm preferring oglio. Let's hear what my sister has to say. Friend! Okay, 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 okay. You you, you have to be quick. Okay, try this first. While I eat this. Can you see yourself? Not bad. Pretty tasty. So fast me. I guess you're done with this. I'm gonna eat this. I like it. It doesn't taste like aglio olio. It tastes like a fancy Maggi goreng. You can say that. But it's nice. The flavor is nice. It just doesn't taste like aglio olio like it's supposed to. But I like it. Oh, I'm ready to sweat already. You wanna give it a score? 3.5 out of 5. Bolognese? The bolognese just tastes very tomatoey, but I like the sun dried tomatoes. It's nice. Oh, a little mistake. The 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 pack is actually sun dried tomatoes exactly. Mm. And three point five out of five also. Same score. Yeah, I like both equally. Okay, thanks. Bye. So for me, I prefer the aglio aglio. Aglio aglio is. I don't know, maybe it's just my preference la. You know, different people, different preference. You like you like this, you like that, you know, I don't like this, you, I don't like that. Mm. Though maybe I would prefer this a little bit more oilier because ugly ugly that I know of is an oily spaghetti and very flavorful. Nothing wrong with the flavor, it's just maybe it needs a little bit more oil. Though the oil packaging, the, the olive oil packaging that they gave both in both of this, this one definitely is bigger, but I think it's not enough to be Aglio aglio oiliness. Oh, I'm a little full. I'm not used to eating two packs of noodle. Although the next time I'm cooking this, I'm definitely adding more olive oil. Or maybe, Vits, if you're watching, maybe you can give a little bit bigger pack of olive oil. And with that said, my score, I'm gonna give Vits, me goreng aglio aglio, a four. Yes, personal preference, nothing wrong with that. Flavor wise, it's okay. It needs a little bit more oil. Mm? And for bolognese, I'm gonna give it a four. Why same score and like my sister, both same score? Because it is equally great. I mean, considering coming from an instant noodle packet and you can cook this in like five minutes and it tastes great. Let's not compare it with actual bolognese or ugly oglio. But then this itself, great. And there you go, that's my two cents of it. Be goreng, ugly oglio and also the bolognese flavor. And if you guys like my content, remember to not subscribe. I mean, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe, but then like my video, yeah, share it to your friends, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video, ciao, here. Although, if you are watching, if you want to feature other products in my channel, do, you know, let me know.